Cheryl from Cheryl Stunning Succulents. Today I am bringing you to work. I just completed a project where I'm using trio pots. What I mean by that is that we have a tall pot, so you've got the tall element, the medium, and the small. So here I've used my clients um, succulents in her garden. The budget is 12 gallons, so I use some of hers and then some of mine. So this is a nice uh, uh, elephant bush. So I kept that there. I brought in this um, beautiful Echeveria. This is her aloe, Crassula. So this is the small pot. And here's a medium pot. Um, this is a the afterglow. And this is hers. This is... Um, uh, fire sticks thank you and our flapjacks here's a trailing jade this will turn purple later uh, when it gets dressed and then I've got some yellow sedums now over here my client wanted um, she loves dogs and she also loves cats but she has this paw um, pots and then the dog bone and then the, um, the puppy here so I've gotten, all of these are from her garden, so I took clippings and I made this arrangement the other day. Lastly, we have another trio pot. See how tall this is? This is a large um, ceramic pot. I put in a, an agave to Tenota, another trailing jade. This will turn purple. Can you see this? It's a little bit purple now, but it's gonna be deep purple when it gets stressed. Flapjacks, aloes, can't go wrong. So I wanted to put something tougher here because I could feel the sun. These are hardy, hardy plants. And then we've got the, let's talk about the middle. I um, have this agave that was in the driveway. It's getting too big, so I used that. The fire sticks. Um, can you take a close-up of this stacking aloes are super cute? So I use that for the arrangement and then Lastly, we have the smaller pot. We have the echeveria, the sedums, the crassula and the aloe and this here Let me show you this. This is called a burgundy crassula and it's gonna turn burgundy as it gets stressed I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I will see you on my next project.